and good morning. Welcome to another episode of Experimental Music. Today we are looking into another machine learning and artificial intelligence based music maker and this one is called Nsynth. As you can see, this is the homepage for the experiment and this was again done by a few artists in collaboration with Google's machine learning or AI lab. I'm not really sure of the technicalities. You can check out the uh, learn more page. You could also get the code if you're a geek enough for that. But for now, what we're going to do is, instead of going into all of this, we'll just launch the experiment and see how it goes. So this is how the home looks, and this is powered by AI. This is made with Google and some friends, and this is built using Magenta. So we will get into Magenta on a different channel. I have a separate coding channel where we, I would be uploading coding around music. If you're interested in that, check the description, check the link at the top corner. You will see it somewhere on the right, top right corner. Look at that. But for now, without further ado, let's get playing. So essentially, before we jump into what exactly this is, I'll just give you a demonstration. Now, this has some funny things. You see the dog? Let's go dog. So that's how the dog sounds. If you want to hear it again, that's how the dog sounds. Now, let's mix it with like a funky sound. What do you want? Marimba? Huh. What does a marimba and a dog combine sounds like? Well, let's see. <laughs> That's a little glitchy. And, uh, okay, pardon me, I do not have a MIDI keyboard. I'm just doing my keyboard pressing on my QWERTY keyboard on my laptop so hopefully in the future we will have enough finances to you know sponsor ourselves a MIDI keyboard but for now we'll just do with what we have marimba got lost where is the marimba it's just dog now okay let's try something else Ooh. <laughs> Wow, that's a funky sound. I think I like this sound. That was a little bit of a spooky experiment. It kind of made me feel like there is a uh, crying and howling dog in the middle of the night, in the middle of a cemetery. Is that how you pronounce C-E-M-E-T-A-R-Y? C-R-Y? I'm not sure. I forgot. Symmetry spelling. <laughs> Check that out, guys. Spelling. Autocorrect has spoiled us all. Trumpet and dog. Actually, let's go cat. Oh. Dulcimer even. I will probably add a thumbnail somewhere here of what a dulcimer is or maybe what a balafon is. What kind of instruments are these? 
Wow, that's like a frequency slap. <laughs> that's a cat orchestra. Oh, that sounds nice. I forgot. I'm forgetting the name. It's a very common name. Uh, it's still the cat. Let's try thunder. Wow. Ooh, that's a crunchy, uh, muffled bass. Sounds like a nuke exploding underground or something like that. Ooh, that's very tense. That's a tense, um, maybe we could use that as subs and basses. Vibraphone? Okay, let's try cow. <laughs> I have no idea how this is done. Maybe I'll just make the cow a little more. <laughs> Doesn't sound interesting. Is that how it counts? Cow sound? That's probably like an alien cow. <laughs> That's a robotic cow. Yeah, that's a very musical cow, nonetheless. Ooh, that's called an upright bass. Let's mix it with a geese or a goose. This is like... <laughs> this sounds like a gagging goose. and a plucky synth. That's depressing. Ooh, that's got an interesting effect in the beginning, but I like the sitar. That's probably my favorite sitar. What's happening at the end? with this so you get an idea of how this works it's essentially we have uh, two different sounds and I don't know for what reasons Google has included cow cat dog goose only four animals I think a frog would be nice since we are doing this and probably a crow if we are looking at death steppy things 
but nonetheless, we shall work with what we have. And so it takes the uh, one sound with the other sound, kind of mixes them and mixes them in a way that it sounds like one sound. So it doesn't essentially have to be um, the pattern of the other sound. I guess the mix is based on the frequency. So I would get into the details of how this works in the other channel, like I mentioned previously. If you have not clicked on that or if you have not checked that, I will include that link once again on the top right corner. Check that link if you want. But other than that, this is essentially just mixing things up like a kid, you know, just mix two sounds and hope for the best. Cross your fingers and see what happens. So now that we have seen what NSYNC can do, we shall sample a few of the sounds, the ones that I like from here, and probably come up with a tiny bit of a loop using FL Studio, I will try to put together something. I do not have much hope because, you know, I currently suck, like suck big time at making music, but I am hoping to get better and I am getting better with probably every loop I make, I get a little bit better, just a little bit better. So with time, you shall see something from my end as well, like a full flown song or maybe even an album. But till then, you'll have to do with what I can make. So enjoy what's coming up. I'll see you after a few hours while I put this together. See you then. So that brings us to the close of this video. By now, you know how to work around with NSYNTH. And if you want to try this out yourself, I will leave the description. I will leave the link in the description and you can go ahead and try it out. You can just do it from your browser, but it would be much easier to do from a laptop or some sort of a desktop because the mobile side uh, recording stuff is a little tricky. So <laughs> go ahead and experiment. And until next time, I'll see you. Bye-bye.